Welcome back to the channel. I'm your brother, Chief Lavachem, the first Mulana, sending my peaceful and lovely greetings to you all, wherever you are. Okay. How are you doing and how is our family at your side doing? Yeah. So, yeah, welcome back once again. And um, in today's video, I'm going to share with you, uh, you know, how we craft share nuts. So this is how our women craft the nuts after they pick it from the farmlands. You know, after they pick the nuts from the farmlands, this is how our women do I mean, mix our shea butter. This is the first process. I mean, this is the third process. So the first process is picking up the seeds. The second process is, uh, I mean, the first process is picking up the nuts. The second process is the boiling. After the boiling, the third process is the drying of the seeds. And after drying the seeds, this is how they crack the seeds. So when the, the seeds is being cracked like this, they, they separate the waste 
from the seed. So as you can see, this is the waste. This is the waste. So this is the waste. That's the shell. So these are the shells to the shell nuts. So when they crack it from the when they crack the shells, this is the nuts they get. So that is shell nuts. So this is how we get our shea butter. Or this is how our women, you know, do for us to get our shea butter. So um, shea butter involves a lot of work. After they crack the shea nuts, what they do is that they dry it once again. And then they they they, they, they uh, deep fry it. So they fry it, but when they are frying it, they don't use uh, oil to fry, fry it. They just fry it like that on the cooking pot. So when it is fried, then they now take it to the grinding mill and then grind it into powder and boil it. So when they boil it, then they will dry the shea butter from the, the nuts. So that is how it is, and that is the procedure. So you see, she's explaining some more feather for me. So she says that when they crack it like this, they will dry it again. You see, I've not even explained it well. She said when they crack it like this, they will dry it. When they dry the seeds, that is after they separate the waste from the nuts. They will uh, dry the nuts once again and then crack the nuts before they uh, take it to the uh, before they take it to the fire and then uh, fry it. So when they fry it, they do not take it to the grinding mill and then grind it into powder. After that, they boil it and drive the shea butter from it. So that's the process. So as you can see, they are busy helping them crack the nuts. Shea butter is supposed to be costly, but looking at the work involved in it, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. So, that's the Don't forget to share this content with your families and friends and then subscribe to my channel if you are new so that you know we can all learn from what I'm sharing. One thing, one important thing about it is that when you are crafting this that you don't have to wear uh, I mean shoes when you wear shoes you see how it is it's very, it's very slippery so you can easily fall and you'll be injured so the indigenous way of doing it so uh you know we have share butter factories here so those factories they don't do it like this they use machines to do it all the process they use you know machines to do it but in the deep villages or in our villages this is how our women do it
family. That's uh, my brother's uh, wife. So today I'm here at the village and um, I've come to visit them and then to also go and check on my farm to see how my plants is doing. So keep watching and please don't forget to subscribe you know, to my channel and click the notification bell so that you always get notified when I post a new videos and do try to share my contents with your family and friends and then give my videos a thumbs up. But thank you all for watching and thank you all for your time. Till we meet again, I'm sending my wonderful and peaceful greetings to you all. Happy weekends to you all. I wish you all the best and I wish you a wonderful and productive weekend. Stay blessed, stay focused and may the good Lord and our ancestors continue all to bless you protect you and guide you all. I love you. All day.